get a lot of questions as to whether should I do a cleanse? What's the benefit of doing a cleanse? So in this video, I wanna clear up some questions about cleanses and how often you should do them and what to expect if you should decide to do a cleanse. Now, a cleanse, the benefit of a cleanse is it um, helps to de-stress your vital organs like your digestive system and your liver and it provides support, um, supportive nutrients uh, to help with the building blocks of health. And we're exposed to a lot of toxins, particularly in our food, even when we uh, say that we're eating healthy. A lot of times I find that a lot of my clients and women that I work with, they say, oh, I have such a healthy diet. And then when we take a closer look at their diet, a lot of little things start to slip in. So a cleanse is kind of like a reset button and it just makes you hyper aware of the food that you're eating and the drinks that you're drinking because sometimes, you know, we, you know, things slip into our, our nutrition plan when we're not thinking about it. So a cleanse kind of is that top of mind awareness so that for a short time, you just become very aware of what you're eating and it helps you connect the dots between what you're eating and how you're feeling. So um, there are a number of cleanses out there and some cleanses will have you just buying pills and potions and not even eating real food. So my suggestion for a cleanse is to be re eating real and wholesome foods. I do like the addition of Shizanza powder and maca powder because it really helps uh, support our adrenals. And I find that most women over 40, we are very hypersensitive to cortisol and that's a result of stress and lack of sleep. And so our adrenal glands, uh, you know, we're, a lot of us are burning their candle at both ends. So our adrenal glands get kind of tapped. So I like to be supporting though, um, you know, that through those two whole food supplements. Those are whole food. They are not pills, powders, or potions. Uh, well, I guess they are powders, but they are real food. Um, but you can be doing a cleanse just with real food and like without those those supplements, but those ones will just kind of give you that little extra boost uh, to help support your adrenal glands. Now, how often should you do a cleanse? I would probably suggest once, maybe twice a year, just as that reset button. And like I said, a lot of people think, yeah, but I eat healthy foods, I don't really need to. But um, yes, healthy and organic foods do help. Uh, you know, they, they are great for us, but doing uh, even a small short cleanse helps to kind of reset things and get that top of mind awareness in terms of what we're eating and how we're feeling. Now, what can you expect from a cleanse? Um, well, the, the good news is that our sugar cravings uh, are greatly reduced. Um, cravings for other foods are also reduced when you do a cleanse. Uh, most people will lose weight when you do a cleanse, but if weight not loss isn't a goal, then, um, you know, that's fine. But like a lot of people will lose weight. Now I have to say that, that sometimes, you know, if you lose five pounds on a seven day cleanse, once you start eating again, you might gain two of those pounds back because sometimes it's just a matter of um, every for every gram of carbohydrate you eat, your body holds on to four grams of water. So if you reduce your food intake, particularly carbohydrates, you will have some water um, loss. So if, if say you lost seven pounds in a week, that's not necessarily seven pounds of fat. So I, I don't want to sell you on the fact that, hey, you're going to lose 10 pounds in a week. You might lose 10 pounds, but you might gain three of it back because you didn't lose all fat. So I want to clarify that, but uh, weight loss definitely is um, a great benefit of doing a cleanse. A surprising benefit is mental clarity. A lot of people think more clearly because an intake of uh, processed foods and starchy carbs and sugar often causes fuzzy thinking. And when we start to balance our hormones, our thinking and mental clarity improves as well. So that's a huge benefit of doing a cleanse that people don't really um, expect. Also, skin tone, um, 
you know, you kind of get that glowing look. A lot of people notice that their skin clears up and is brighter and not dull looking. We stabilize blood sugar so you don't have those highs and lows of energy. And so that is a huge benefit of a cleanse as well. Now, some people say, I, I've talked to people that they look and feel like death when doing a cleanse. And that's the wrong kind of cleanse if you ask me because you should not feel like um, that you cannot leave the house because all you're doing is spending time in the bathroom. That's the wrong kind of cleanse to be on. So I wouldn't recommend um, you know, a harsh cleanse like that. Um, to be honest, most people will feel a little bit of lethargy when they start a cleanse, but it usually clears up in the first two or three days. And if you are, if you eat a lot of sugar and processed foods, a cleanse, you will feel the lethargy a little bit more than those people that have a fairly healthy diet for starters. Um, and so I feel like just going into a cleanse with a positive attitude, knowing that, you know what, I'm doing my body a favor by, um, you know, clearing out the toxins, getting rid of my sugar cravings, just coming off sugar, I call that a cleanse because uh, anybody that tries to cut back on sugar or anyone that has done a, um, you know, kind of a detox where they get rid of the, trying to get rid of the processed foods and sugars in their, their diet, they'll notice that, oh man, you know, I'm feeling like I have a headache. I, you know, that's just normal. So when you go on a cleanse, that's going to be normal, but it will, um, it will subside. And the good thing is that the cravings subside. And so no matter what, if you want to get off sugar, you have to kind of go through that withdrawal and you just have to, um, stick with it. The thing is, is when you eat sweet, you crave sweet. So you just have to kind of get through that, that first couple days. And then the, the, the big benefit is that you don't, you don't crave things. Now, some people ask, should I be exercising when I'm doing a cleanse? Um, you might not have like the high energy that you would normally have when you're eating your healthy diet, but doing exercise during a cleanse is helpful because when you sweat, it helps get rid of toxins in your body. So exercise during a cleanse is excellent. You might want to just back off on the intensity, um, of the exercise during your cleanse. So um, I wanted to clear that up and I also want to tell you about my friend Lily. It's her birthday and I want to use a little bit of peer pressure because I feel like she, she would really benefit from the Healthy Hormone Challenge. So she doesn't know this, but um, uh, the Healthy Hormone Challenge just bumped up in price and actually it's funny because Lily is turning 47 um, and that was the price of the Healthy Hormone Challenge, so I'm rolling it back to 47 and to encourage Lily to do the challenge. And so um, in honor of Lily and her birthday and getting her on the challenge, by the way, Lily is very social media adverse. Um, she's not on social media, so she, I'm just gonna have to text her and tell her this. I'll show her a little clip of this video. Um, but I'm rolling back the Healthy Hormone Challenge to $47, and I'm gonna keep it open a little bit longer. Um, it was gonna close down tonight, but I'm gonna keep it open until Sunday. Uh, I've got lots of ladies on that have started it, but I would love for you to join um, our Healthy Hormone Challenge. You can get on board. Lots of the ladies that got on, they got on um, kind of late, later on on the weekend and they're just kind of getting organized. So we have lots of time to, to get started with it. So I'm super excited um, and happy birthday to Lily. Um, I know that the peer pressure of me saying, hey, I, I'm doing this for your birthday and I got a lot of the people from my uh, closed group, Healthy Secrets for Women 40 Plus and in honor of you, uh, I kept the, the challenge open a few more days and I dropped the price to 47 to celebrate your birthday. So I hope you decide to get on with us. I wanted to, um, you know, talk about the cleanse because the cleanse in the Healthy Hormone Challenge is real food. It does have those two supplements that you can use, but you do not have to. Um, you can still get results without it. Uh, the whole idea of that cleanse and the meal plan afterward is to help balance your hormones so that you're not gonna have those energy swings, so you're not gonna have the cravings, so you're gonna have great energy, your skin is gonna look and feel better, and yes, you will be losing weight. The women in the last Healthy Hormone Challenge, I'll, 
Um, I've got to be posting some pictures. I haven't done that yet. Um, they're going, they've lost between five and 10 pounds, but we've talked a lot about the non-scale victories as well, because I feel like balancing your hormones through nutrition this way, I don't like to look at this as a cleanse where we start um, and then stop like a diet. It's just a change in eating and lifestyle. So um, I'm looking forward to having a couple more people hop on board the Healthy Hormone Challenge. I don't have a link up yet, but I will have a link. And uh, happy birthday to Lily. And I hope you join us with our cleanse and then four weeks of healthy hormone eating. Have an awesome day.